Storm, you, you've, you've thought of a fantastic stat just off camera before we've started rolling. <laughs> Saints are top of the league in VAR decisions. Yeah, I mean, that's what, five and a hundred percent record. That's great, you know. I think it just shows that Ralph's obviously got them playing to the laws of the game, at least. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, today was rather dire. Mm. Obviously, the only goal we got was a well-taken penalty. And then, obviously, we had the... I don't even know what to call it. Cavalcade of errors at the end to mm. give them the third goal. Great description of words, to be honest. First goal, free header from a, from a, from a corner. We, we were like statues. We sort of stood still when the ball came over. Yeah, we were. I mean... Well, it's all as Vestergaard is. I don't think it's the Colossus of Rhodes. It should have been the Colossus of moving and taking the ball away. You know, but sticks and stones. Then the second goal, it's well worked on Bournemouth's part. They got behind, they scored their goal. Obviously, that was technically their third at VAR mm. for the fourth time that season, this season, saving our bacon. And then the second half, obviously, the penalty decision. Still think there were a couple of VAR decisions that, well, decisions that didn't go to VAR that probably should have. Uh, in the second half, there was a situation between, I believe, may not be in the second half, but there was a situation between Hoiberg and Lerma, where to me it looks like Lerma, as Hoiberg's trying to run past him, just brings his arm up, brings his arms up and pushes, hits Hoiberg in the face. Was that before or after his yellow card? That was the instant that got him his yellow card. Right, I see. Yeah, so that was the instant that got him his yellow card. So that's, to me, that would be, I personally felt that Lerma raised his arms into Hoiberg's face and that should have been a dismissal, but you know, we, we, you know, we come back in the second half with some spirit, some fight, some determination, most importantly. We thought we could get it. The, the fans are right behind us, giving it the gusto. But it went sort of a bit drab and a bit dull and everyone was losing the enthusiasm before the end of the game and eventually they put their third away. Yeah, that definitely happened. And I if I remember correctly, the, the main point of our decline was the removal of Shea Adams and the addition of Danny Ings. I don't think Danny Ings coming on was the right decision at the time. I think if he was going to take off a player there, it should have been for Shane Long because Long would have kept running the same way Adams was. Yeah. But you know, I don't. Another point is I'm not sure that Buffal and Redmond work on the same team. They both work fantastically alongside Gineppo, but without Gineppo, I think they struggle to work with each other. Mm. So uh, most of us are fixated on this Tuesday night fixture, but. A couple of uh, tough set of games coming up, you know, Spurs away next weekend, uh, Chelsea at home, then followed by Wolves away. That's a bread and butter of the Premier League. Yeah, that is. I mean, obviously, we've, we have been a bit focused on the real South Coast derby, but uh, I do think we may have lacked something in this game because of that. And whether or not, well, I don't think we'll be, don't think we'll get a, the win against Tottenham. We might do. You never know, but I don't think we will. Other two games are ones we could, sh well, probably should get points out of. Wolves definitely is one we can get points from if we play well, but it's going to be a struggle this season, I think. Another one. Mm. All right. Thanks, Storm.